Hello everyone, my name is Henrik, I'm the co-founder of Neofarms and I would like to introduce you to technology that has the potential to revolutionize your personal supply of fresh vegetables. Those fresh vegetables are the basis for your health and uh, for your diet, but their nutritional content and also their taste highly depends on the conditions on the field and what happens in between harvest and consumption. For some vegetables, especially salads, herbs, microgreens, just a few days can lead to great loss of nutrition and taste. And at this point, I don't even have the time to mention all the negative aspects of modern day large scale farming on the ecosystem on the whole planet. And I hope you're all familiar with that. It turns out uh, there's a solution the trend urban gardening that could solve a lot of those problems. But in our urbanized future cities, less and less people will have the access to this, this technique or to a garden at all. This is why in the last years, inventors have started to create solutions like this. Small hydroponic greenhouses that grow some plants uh, for you at home. And while those systems are all great, they're all facing the same problems with the hydroponics that's behind. There are some limitations with the liquid water, uh, with the scalability, and also the taste. Uh, we soon realized this when we started the company, and we found an alternative called aeroponics. Aeroponics is actually used and developed by NASA to grow plants uh, up in space and uses a fine mist of nutrients and fog to supply the plants with everything they need. But until now, aeroponics has been super complicated and expensive. This is why we set out initially to create a patent pending technology that enables us to use aeroponics in a simple home appliance. Our fully automated indoor greenhouse takes away all the effort normally involved with growing your own plants and produces enough salad for a whole family. It's vertical, it's modular, it's easy to use, connected to an app that can tell you everything about the plants that you're actually raising. Let's look at the business side for a second. We want to enter the market uh, using kitchen retailers. They can showcase the system, they can plan it into new kitchen and build it right in, taking a lot of effort away from us. Together with them, we are targeting the top 7% of premium and luxury kitchens. Those add up to 700,000 units sold every year in Europe and America. In Europe, it's still more than 300,000. And in Germany, our first target market, because it's a hometown, and also the biggest premium kitchen market, it's still more than 90,000 potential customers every year. Our premium product, together with recurring revenues from seeds and nutrients, create a lifetime value of around 7,500 euros for us. Behind all this is a very diverse team covering everything from biotechnology, industrial design, mechanical engineering, economics, and so on. On top, we're working together with uh, some of the leading experts in product development, brand building, and premium retail. At the moment, we're looking forward to close our seed fund of 800,000 at the beginning of next year, and with that, uh, get the chance to bring home farming into every house all out there. All right, Henrik, thanks for this healthy Thank you very pitch. Much. And now, please, the jury, four minutes. Hi, really cool. Um, can you open up the business model a bit more? Yeah, the business model con consists of the two, two pieces that I already mentioned, selling of the product itself, premium product for the beginning because the production cost is not too low at the beginning, of course, uh, so we will have the margin there. And then at the end, we are selling the seeds, the nutrients, and the other usables that go into using this product the whole time. So there's one-time sale and then recurring revenues over the next years over the usage. Um, what's the use case? Because uh, sometimes these kind of, of, of products, they're kind of a luxury market. So do you see the, the final user to replace vegetables from the supermarket with the homegrown ones? Or wh wh where do you want to be? Like, wh yeah. What kind of use case do you want to see? We're, looking, we're actually looking forward uh, to replace part of it. And that's exa exactly the plants I already mentioned. This is herbs, microgreens, uh, and salads. Because those are, the, those are the things that grow best in those systems. And those are, at the same time, which is great, the things that spoil the fastest. So we want to have those things that you can buy at the supermarket and that are wasted in two days because they just spoil in your kitchen. We want to take this, grow it at home, and of course the rest, tomatoes, all the big stuff, that's not, not the use case here. So the freshest things in your kitchen, the rest still from the supermarket. What is the average price for an initial setup if I buy this um, with my kitchen? Yeah, for, uh, for the beginning, we've, we've done the research in the, in the premium kitchen market, uh, and right now we're looking for a retail price uh, to enter the market of 6,000 euros. That's actually something people are very uh, well uh, aware that they're spending for premium products, and it's, it's worth it for them. Uh, this will be the initial price. But after that, of course, we hope to, with, with bigger volumes, get the price down and at the end reach the mass market. But this would be with another product coming up, basically. Can you explain a little bit how you have enhanced the NASA technology and what your patent is about? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, as you said, it's NASA technology. It's all patented. It's all it's all out there for for decades. And what we've done is uh, simplifying the technology, making it make it easier. So we have one unit that supplies the whole uh, the whole thing with the with the nutrient fog that uh, that that's created. Uh, and this the, the the supply and the and the transportation of this mist inside the system. This is what we are what we are what we are basically protecting. Can you tell a bit more about your current stage like, and what your plans for like, the next year or when do you want to go to, for a market, etc.? Yeah. The next year will still be all about research and development. We've finished the digital construction of our fourth generation prototype that we want to uh, build a small series at the beginning of next year, so 10 pieces. Then at the end of next year, we're going to build a pre-series of the end product. Uh, we want to launch at the end of 2019. That's the, that's the schedule. Okay, so you, are you always going to launch together with kitchen appliances, or are you thinking of going also just with just a standalone product? Sorry, what? Uh, are you always going to launch with a with a kitchen, or are you thinking to do direct sales as well? So, who's your first? Who's your distribution distributor, basically? Direct sales is a little bit harder with the product because it's premium, it's expensive, uh, and it's new technology. So you, I, we feel like you have to touch the technology. This is why we're bringing it through the retail. Um, direct sales might be off in the future, but for the beginning, only only retail. And do, do kitchen kitchen producers have similar solutions at the moment? Why don't they do it in house, or do, are they, do you know if it's a market there, or why haven't they touched that so far? I think they're slowly starting to touch it. We know that they're interested in the technology, and we know at least of one uh, one company that's looking forward uh, to to do things like that. But it's all not not in the same scale. They're doing s other systems, pot style systems, uh, not this fridge. And that's style. it, Henrik. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you very much. Neo Farms.